both of you two. Just thought I'd come on here and uh, let y'all know what I'm up to. Uh, of course, I'm still moving. We got a lot done, but still got a lot to do. Well, not as far as moving goes. I just about got everything moved in here. And y'all look around and see. Got all my welders and uh, plasma cutter and drill press. Got my lift up. It's working. Got it wired up. It works. Uh, It's ready to go. Uh, got these in here. I still got to get my shear and put it in here. And those other uh, Vidmar toolboxes, got to get them. They're in the garage at the house. Uh, of course, still got these reels to put up and my fans and uh, kind of struggling on where to put everything don't know how to arrange it uh, i told my wife i said well i'll get out here and get to working it'll arrange itself i'll figure out where i need this and where i need that where i'm gonna do certain things at uh and uh did a little project this morning this table here got it from boeing at auction and uh they're really good tables uh, everything on it's eighth inch thick metal uh, and it's got this nice piece of plywood uh, probably three-quarter plywood on top so that's a good good bench uh, to work on stuff that you don't want a metal top i took it this morning it was uh I think I cut five and a half inches out of it, out of the legs, to lower it down, to shorten it up, because I'm short. But uh, it'll be a nice table now. I just got casters on it, I can roll it around. I, I might mount a vise on it too. I've got uh, three vices, I got three or four vices. I mount one on my welding table, mount one on here. Uh, let me uh, let me show y'all what I've been messing with. Uh, I couldn't help myself. I keep looking at them and want to work on them, so I said, "Well, I will work on it." Uh, this is a part that one of the one of the probably last real bad rusty places on this car and it's it's not that bad uh it's just got a few holes in it and that's the way them tri files will do uh they'll sit with that gasket up against that whole moisture and then it'll rust this is a screw hole that holds this piece here on this piece here goes up on here like that uh and i got two more screw holes over here but uh i was just kind of cleaning this up to see what i want to do with it and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take uh some brushes wire brushes and a die grinder and i've already cleaned these up up here pretty good and clean all this up down here and just see how bad it is I don't think that's all that bad there. You got these holes. I think what I'll try to do is clean them up real good and then just try to weld them up rather than, you know, cut this out and try to replace it and all that stuff. I'll try to clean it up and what I can, I'll clean it up and treat it. And, uh, you know, should be fine. But anyway, I still got a bunch of other stuff to do, but you know, sometimes you just gotta take a break, work on your car. It's been, it's been a year since I've worked on these things. So uh, anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'll look, I'll clean this stuff up and then I'll come back 
and let y'all see it again where we get all this ground down and cleaned up we'll see how much i can weld up if i can weld it up that'll be a whole lot less work than cutting it out all right well i'll bring y'all back in a little while Okay, that looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna take a, I'll take a die grinder with a little Rolox on it, run over it. But, uh, got a little spot there I might need to touch up. But this is pretty thick metal in here. This is probably, I don't know, 10 gauge or more. Probably 10 gauge. Pretty thick and uh this right in here i'll probably just clean it up might blast it clean it up and let it treat it and let it let it go you know make sure i got all the surface rust and stuff cleaned down to good metal should be fine all right well i know this video not very long but uh i just thought i'd get over here and do a little something to the car. Uh, and I'll be working on periodically, periodically. I got uh, Cindy's building around there. We're trying to get it insulated and get it where she can get in there and do her little craft thing. So I'll be working on these things here and there, uh, posting videos and stuff. So uh, if you would, leave me a like and comment on my shop. See, uh, tell me what you think about uh, where I need to place things. Uh, got my lift right there, and I got a lot of my sheet metal tools over here, and I got some over there on the other wall. Uh, but I think they'll find a place after I get out here and get to working. I'll figure out where I need them. But let me know what y'all think. And uh, subscribe. Man, we're close to a 1,000. Uh, I sure would like to get there. And, uh, you know, remember we got the giveaway of the, the nightlight, 56 Chevrolet nightlight that we're going to give away when we hit a thousand subscribers. All right. Till next time. Catch y'all later.